Live, the one and only Local 10 News. Well, few things in life are more important than choosing child care, and there's a lot to be aware of when picking the right daycare for your little one. Joining us now is attorney Robert Boyers. He's here to break down what you need to know when looking for child care. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Thank now you. You, you, you've represented a lot of cases where things have gone wrong, so therefore you've learned all the things that parents should look out for. What's the most important thing when picking a daycare for your little one? Well, uh, you want a safe and secure environment. I mean, we all want a place that's going to take care of our kids the way we would take care of our children. And that's not easy to find, but it does exist. What you have to do is really conduct a vigorous investigation, both online and in person. Mm -hmm. So the DCF regulates and supervises uh, daycare facilities and has all these standards, the minimum standards that they have to comply with. But in addition, they have a quality uh, certification, an additional quality certification, uh, that is the gold seal. And that is a good place to start, to look for the gold seal programs, because they meet voluntary standards that are higher than the minimum standards. Yeah, they go above and beyond. And we put together some tips here um, that you say are the ultimate first things you should do when approaching a daycare. You research staff history. How long somebody's been there? How long have they had employees for a long time? That makes a difference. A absolutely. I mean, you want a place that has a history, a track record with that employee. So they should start before they hire an employee and find out what they're, do a criminal record search, a background search, their prior employment history. But then you want to have people who've been supervised at that facility for an extended period of time so that the supervisor, the director, can talk from personal knowledge. Yeah, and that they have a track record. You also say, it's a, you know, recommendations are great, but tour the facility in person. Why is that important? Well, it's critical because there's, there's the standards that they purport to follow and the, then there's the ones that they do follow. So you want to get there and see, first of all, who the staff members are, interview them yourself, interview the director, make sure that it's a uh, safe environment, that everything is kept in good repair. I mean, we've handled cases where there were defective, for instance, a defective door that slammed shut because it was defective and permanently injured a child's hand. We had another uh, case where mm -hmm. there was a ladder. They were doing construction in a classroom, oh. and a ladder fell and landed on a child's head. The worst nightmare. So you ha absolutely, and, and unfortunately, tragedies happen in just a few seconds. You, of course, covered the story last month where a child had drowned at a nursing facility. So you want a place where there's, yeah. first of all, people who are well-trained. Uh, you want to know what their credentials are. You, they should have early childhood education credentials, ideally. You want to make sure that they're trained at least somebody in first aid and CPR. If there's a pool, there has to be a lifeguard on duty at yep. all times. And that's where you, when you say ask a lot of questions, talk to other parents. Absolutely. Get a bunch of information. And where do you go to look? Like you say, you, you know, you have, there, there's a place that you search? There's a number of places. I mean, there's a ton of information online. The DCS has a website with all of the standards that these places should adhere to. And they also have their uh, investigative reports, their inspection reports, and prior complaints published. So you can search a particular facility that's licensed and find out what their history is. Do they have a good track record of taking care of children? Okay. That's really important. Mr. Boris, thank you so much. We put the websites up there. We're going to put them on our local10.com. Thank you so much for coming. Great tips. My pleasure. Thank have you. Have a great day. You too.